All right, so it's called Battleship, and to the movie's credit, there is a battleship in this movie somewhere, like once. Other than that, it, it makes no sense to call it that. Just no sense. <laughs> Battleship. All right, so with the success of Transformers, all the studios were like, all right, let's just make a bunch of movies that are that have titles of novelties from the 80s. Doesn't matter if it has anything to do with it, just call it whatever. Oh, Ethan Hawke signed on for the sequel to Training Day? Sweet, we're gonna rename it Operation. That's not real, but I'm just saying it feels like that. First, when watching the trailer to Battleship, you know it really has nothing to do with the game Battleship. At first, it kind of does. The movie stars the guy from John Carter. So if you're in Hollywood and you're looking for an agent to represent you because you want to be an actor, don't hire that dude's agent. Just saying, pass. And they're going to do the Naval War Games, which feels like Battleship. Then the aliens land. You're like, this is no longer Battleship. I'm going to talk about what worked in the movie, though. When the movie started, I was like, all right, we already know from the trailer it has nothing to do with the game Battleship. So I'm just going to see this as an alien. Alien invasion movie. And as an alien invasion movie, it's not so terrible. And the aliens were actually quite cool. They were badasses. I like their tech. I gotta say, if there's one thing that's awesome in this movie, it's the alien tech. Like the aliens in their suits, their suits were always shifting, you know, and guns were always popping out of it. It's just everything was always shifting and changing, which sounds like Transformers. Everyone said, oh, yeah, the, the trailer looks like Transformers. It really doesn't feel like Transformers. Things just always shift and change on the alien stuff, but. It's not Transformers. And the alien ships were really menacing. They'd come out of the water and they'd be floating there. Like, I mean, this is me impersonating an alien ship floating there, I guess. And it would lock onto a battleship and it'd just be like, boom, and just, there it is. It felt like a velociraptor just snapped his neck and looked at a human. You're like, hey, you're dead. Take heart in knowing you have no choice but to die. That thing is going to waste you. The ships are just ships. It's not like biomechanical or anything like that. They're mechanical ships, but it really made the ships feel alive. The other thing I liked were those weird little balls of death. They're just land on an aircraft carrier and just shred through that thing. It was like Looney Tunes termites, you know? How Looney Tunes termites pour on wood. It's just like, bang, it just it burns right through it and it's gone. That's what these things were like. They were completely cool. And after that, there was some cool kick-assery between, you know, the aliens and the humans, humans versus the aliens. But now we're gonna get to the actors and the characters and I feel like the tone of this review is just gonna change. There were parts where I was like, the acting is just terrible in this movie. It's just bad. Like, I'll cut some slack for some people just because I feel like some of the people in this movie were actually from the Navy. And if you are actual naval personnel portraying a person who's naval personnel in a movie, I'll give you slack. You're not really an actor, but the director wanted real naval personnel, so I get it. The only one who really beat those acting odds is Arlie Ermey. Badass in the military, badass in movies. And Geico commercials. But I mean, Rihanna in the movie? Really? Why is she in the movie? It completely feels like she's a singer who is in her first movie. Who's that other guy? In fact, you know what? In terms of acting, I have nothing against the guy. It's just the fact that he looks like Matt Damon's stunt double. Like, he looks like Matt Damon from Team America. Every Every time he was on the screen, I just wanted to be like, Matt Damon. It's a really petty thing to bring up in a review, but it's just what sticks out in my head. That dude who kind of looks like Matt Damon. And John Carter's character, I just didn't connect with. I know they were going for the James T. Kirk vibe with his character. I know they were like, all right, we're going to do James T. Kirk or Maverick, you know? Like, you can tell he's just like untapped potential and he just doesn't care about anything. But throughout the movie, we're going to see him focus. We're going to be rooting for him the entire time. Yeah! But I didn't root for him. I just saw him and I'm like, yeah, you're kind of a douchebag. He doesn't give a shit about anything. You feel like he's just like dragging and his girlfriend down with him. I think the problem is with James T. Kirk, you don't really see him be a douchebag or anything like that. I mean, yeah, he's kind of unfocused, but you already saw his dad do something heroic. So you know he has that in him and you don't have to wait too long before he joins Starfleet of his own accord. This dude in Battleship, his brother's like, you're joining the Navy. All right, so he doesn't actually want to do that. So he's pretty much the same idiot who broke into a gas station to impress a girl. Yeah, he's still stupid. He's just annoying until he's not. That's the best I can say it. Like at a point you're like, oh yeah, he's going to step up and, you know, it'd be a good commander. Until that happens, you're like, why are you commanding? Hand it over to Matt Damon. I mean, in terms of an alien invasion movie, it's a lot better than the other alien invasion movies that have happened over the past couple years. And so I will give the movie that. Is it a great movie? No. Is it a fun movie? Yeah. Do you forget about it right after you walk out of the movie? You betcha. In the end, I will say Battleship is a good time if you're drunk. Yeah, no, it's a sp Explosions! You sunk my patrol boat? No one hits that thing. If you just want a fun summer alien invasion movie with a lot of explosions and a few fights and some tech that's really cool, you don't really care about characters or anything like that, you're gonna have a pretty fun time with the movie. If you require more than that, it's gonna be what you probably expect. All right, so your favorite alien invasion movie. I feel like I already asked you that question, but I don't care. We got new people here. We got new subscribers. I wanna know their favorite alien invasion movie. What is it? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.